Hello everybody and welcome back to Roguelike Roulette. We are back again playing Risk of Rain. I'm going to play the, the loader again. Do you know what? Do you know why? Because I think the loader is super fun. Uh, if you guys really want me to play uh, another character, please do leave your suggestions below. I am, uh, I am willing to take on. It's time. It's time to do some randoming. So we got monsters can appear. Okay, for some reason it just... I don't know what the X means. Does that just mean then the same way? Does it only pick one? Okay. Let's just random until we get more than one. And then close my eyes. Random. And we got... Monsters will only be of one type per stage. Monsters are doubled, but their maximum health is reduced. That's what we got going on today. I don't know what the, the X's one means. Like, because that's off. But that's also off. I don't know, we'll leave it like that and we will try this out. We'll be going over to Monsoon difficulty as well. Just because I want to add a little bit of extra challenge in. Um, we did our glass one on Monsoon and surprisingly it went pretty well. I was I was very happy with that. So already this is insane. Already I could die. Already I'm going to die. My god. This is crazy. So fast. Right. Got to be careful with the loader. We're getting up close and personal with enemies all the time. So we're going to be getting... Um, we're going to be getting hit quite a lot. That is a really good item to start off with here. Really good item to start off with. We're going to need to be really careful for fire elites more than anything. But as you guys know, I absolutely love the loader. He is my bestest of boys. He is by far my favourite. Oh, yes. That is a brilliant, brilliant thing to start with here. Right, let's let's try and gather some people up. And yes, I did just use my dash just to get over to this thing. And then yes, I did miss it. Let's do it. It's time. There's too many enemies. Maybe that was a waste. Maybe not. Oh, extra movement speed. Brilliant. Getting some great stuff already here. Oh, we got crowbars as well. Do you know what? Crowbars are pretty dang good for us. Uh, although I don't want to trade either of the whites I have away right now. They're both really good. But yes, having all these extra enemies is going to be kind of crazy. Having enemies of only one type can be really bad for Loader especially. Because if we get Wisps, he is not great at taking out Wisps. It's, it's not that he's terrible at it by any means. He just has a little bit of an issue with it. Just because, obviously, they can fly quite high away from you there. Okay, let's see if we can uh, see if we can get ourselves some extra items here. I'm not even seeing chests, really, which is a bit of a shame. Damn it. I thought I'd make that. I did not. Luckily, our, our uh, loader bot here, he cannot take fall damage, so we're okay in that regard. But look at that. The halved enemy HP is going to be super, super useful for stuff like that. I'm not seeing many chests around, actually. We do have that chance to back that way, though, so we can go and take that. Finding a lot of the money pods, though. A lot of the money pods. There's one up there, two here. But we're not actually finding um, very many chests at all. Not to worry, though. Not to worry. We do have another, um, another active there. I don't think we're going to want to take that yet, though. We've got a chest here. We've got another chest there. Okay. Starting to find him now. We've got our first green. And that's pretty damn good. We can get two charges of our, um, of our Mr. Accretion. I can't remember what it's called now. Right. Um, stun chance. I'll go for random. I'll go for random. Rusted key. It's not good, but it's not terrible to have this early on, to be honest. It's not terrible to have this early on. Okay. Right. Let's, uh, let's head our way up here now. Uh, I was touching the floor so it didn't really work. But yeah, having that reduced cooldown time is going to be very, very important for us. As you can see, we're not doing too bad now that we've got some sort of... We've got a bit, a bit, of, a bit of a mojo going on. Honestly, that's really good. Having extra grapples for a little bit of extra chance to get away from enemies is really nice. Oh, I'll tell you what. I have, I have the facial hair because um, it is lockdown. And why would I bother making myself look at all presentable? Um, and I'm just going for the absolute herber homeless look. And it is the most annoying thing in the world. But I am determined to look as homeless as I possibly can. Just mainly because it kind of annoys my girlfriend. <laughs> I'm not doing it to purposely annoy her, but it, it is a funny side effect. She doesn't actually care. 
Right, what we got here? Oh, yes, we are stacking that movement speed. And bandoliers are also really good. I'm really happy to have so much movement speed this early on. Really going to help us out a lot. But my god, there's a lot of you guys. Got to remember, when we call on our boss, it's going to be these guys again. And it is going to be an elite variant. So let's pick ourselves up these. There was another one up here, wasn't there? I knew you're there. Give me that. Just because there's not much else to buy here. And we are going to have a, um, one of these spawning. Right, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm ready. Right, good, good, good. We actually got a lot of those there with that. And there you go. Done. <laughs> oh, yes, baby. Such a good item. So, fire is especially daunting for us when we're um, on monsoon here. Which is something that I've been forgetting already. Even though I don't know how I could because this is crazy. We're not doing too bad here. We definitely need some healing. We do have ourselves um, a, a nice bit of healing in our robot here, but that's not always going to do the best. And with, with Monsoon, that is going to die relatively quickly anyway. So we've got to be careful in that regard. But Bandolier, the main reason it's so good is obviously recharging our, um, our smash, our big fist is super useful. But we're always up close and personal with the enemies, which means picking up the Bandoliers that we get off of a kill is much easier, meaning we can chain them together a lot, lot quicker. I'm very happy about. Very happy about indeed. Come over here, you. Boom. Hey. Destroyed. Absolutely loving this build already. I just love having this much movement speed this early on. It's so nice. So nice. Now, I didn't actually end up checking all the way up there. Uh, you can get all the way up that bit. I didn't end up checking up there. There could be a chest. I will go and check it just because I feel I am a, like a little bit obligated to, especially considering... No, I missed. God damn it. We fell so far as well. Right, let me, let me go on this. Oh my god, all these guys keep walking to this by accident. Well, we did, we did come up here. We just didn't go all the way to the back. Okay, we got nothing there anyways. Boom! Here comes the boom. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Let me back down. I'm coming. So I'm going through this because I do have a hell of a lot of Lunar Tokens to spend here. We might get something good. If we could get a Jester of the Drowned, this would be very, very good. I don't think we'll get one, but if we could, it would be amazing. Let's have a little look, see. <gasps> it's there. Jester of the Drowned. Awesome. So now our thing will fire off automatically, but it will do a lot when it fires, so very happy to have that. Right. Let's make our way back up and out of here. Yes. Very happy to have that. This is going to be firing off mucho quicker, so rather than a one-minute... I think it's 130 seconds default, maybe 140. It's now 58. We've, we've like half the time, which is really, really nice. Of course, we can no longer control when it goes off, which is a little inconvenient, but it is going to be killing things more often for us, and I am all for that, 100%. Being able to get away from uh, these elite effects, especially the ice one, so easily is very, very nice. Very much liking that right now. I'm going to go for the Fire Elites first, because they're the most problematic. These guys are rarely going to hit us anyways, but I still want to be dealing with them as quickly as we possibly can. Really need some more defense-heavy items here. That could really be the, the next big thing for us. Uh, another Rusted Key is not, again, a bad thing to get early on. It's not great, but I'm probably not going to trade it away, because for one, I don't want to trade away the items that I already have. That would just be too risky. Not you. We get ourselves a Chrono Bobble. Now, Chrono Bobble is one of those items that everyone used to hate. And now it's actually a relatively useful item because it now um, it now attributes to Deathmark, the item where if you have four different debuffs stacked on an enemy, then you do 50% extra damage per stack of the item to them, which is very, very nice. Now, I don't know if it got fixed. I know at one point the... Per stack, 50% was only working at one stack. So if you had more than one of the item, it had no additional effects. 
Uh, but I believe that's fixed. At least he said they were going to fix it last time I played, and it's been like a week, so I'm assuming it's fixed. I did not mean to get up here, but I'm not going to complain. Right, yeah, good thing about our movement speed is we can basically take it all and put it into finding chests. Very happy about that. Now, we are going to waste... Crowbar's lovely there. We are going to be wasting our... Um, I, I'd say our ult, pretty much. I'll just fire it down that way. Three, two, one. Boom. It kills things so fast. It's so good. Okay, we have a lot, a lot of chance shrines around here. And there is the healing we so desperately need. What you got for us here? Eh. It's not great. It's not terrible. If we find something... 3D print of green items, which we have right there. We might want to be doing that. Um, ooh, boy. Uh, that's a good item. But we could lose we could lose a lot of good stuff here. In fact, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Like, because the only other thing I'd be okay with losing is Chrono Bobble. Um, and even then, I kind of want that in case we get Death March for later. So I'm just not going to 3D print for now. It's, it's a rare time where I'm, I've got good enough stuff to not want to 3D print, especially for a... A Roland's Band or whatever that one's called. Roland's Band, I can't remember the name of that. But we are in such situation right at this very moment. You are experiencing it today. But we are stacking up the damage. The um, the Will of the Wisp is really helping us out a lot here. And that thing is helping out even more. Wow, I love this so much. Right, we'll try and wait until our, um, until our big old fireball is ready again. Oh, more damage to bosses. And try to dig it. That's two debuffs already. Now all we need is a gasoline. And one more debuff. Right, 29 seconds. Oh, what money we got on this one? Three. Go hoof, even more movement speed. Right, it's about time. At five seconds, I'll press the button. 10, 9, 8, 7, eight, press it, move over this way, kind of look in that general direction. Really? He got too close to me. Oh, that was annoying. He got too close to me and instantly it hit the guy in front. Don't worry, we've got enough damage for this to be just fine. Also, yeah, I don't want to lose Bandolier. Bandolier right now is so good for us. I am super happy with this build right now. It's so good. Look at that. Just look at all that damage. Where's that last boss one? I don't even know. Is that, is that in there? Yeah, that's cool. And we get ourselves another bit of movement. We've got crazy movement right now, which I'm very, very pleased about. Very pleased about indeed. Having movement on Monsoon is super important, especially on this character, where we need to be able to get out of a situation if it goes south. Take you out. We didn't actually check back there for any chests, so we should probably do that. There you are. Throw that out. And then, so we always want to be looking up with this thing. Does more damage that way. Loving it. Loving, loving, loving it. We've got some crazy stuff going on. And this is without command as well. Like, this is just a genuinely very OP run. This is why I love Loader. He's so, he's so fun. Loader is my boy. Right, we're at 94. Let's take out this lot. Oops, yeah, I missed them. And then we'll go and do a little bit more buying because we have the money. We got ourselves more movement speed and another rusted key. We really should try and find our lockbox on this floor because it could be quite valuable. Now, it can be anywhere, so it could take a little while. Another reason I love the loader bot, we can move so very fast. So very fast. What are you doing over here? Now, I'm not going to get a different active, because that active right now is just too good. I'm not seeing it anywhere, sadly. And strike! Yeah, I don't know where our lockbox is. It, you do always get one pair level, so there is one somewhere for us. I just don't know where. Get ourselves another try tip, and I think that's just going to be it for us, isn't it? We're not obviously finding uh, finding another one, are we? Let's just escape. 
Wow, we still can. Oh. My guy was stuck just a little bit in that wall there, but we killed him. Right, what enemy? We've, we've really got to get lucky with the enemies here. These aren't too bad for us. Other classes, they can definitely be a problem for, and they do slow us, which is problematic. But we can deal more than enough damage, and we are melee. Oh, sorry, no, it's not slow. It's bleed, isn't it? So as you can see, that did a lot of damage to us. So the kind of way we want to be killing these, ideally, is gathering them up and killing them all in one punch. That is by far the most, like, efficient method of killing these guys off. That's not too bad. It's, it's not great, but it is healing. Um, and it is very, very easy for us to get the healing, considering how close proximity we are to the enemies. To the monsters. What you got for us here? Oh, that's quite nice. Although it doesn't really scale into the late game very well, having slightly reduced damage is really nice. It is just a flat five damage reduction. So it's not exactly the best against bigger enemies, but it'll help. We failed on that first time. I'm just going to leave that for now then if we failed it. Elites are really going to be the main problem for us here. They're going to be the biggest thing that's dealing a lot of damage to us. Oh, yes. Topaz Brooch is the strongest item defensively we can get for the character we're playing with right now. I'm actually going to take more movement speed here, although I will first off check all of these. Um, wow, we just have so much stuff here. Let's Lots of buy stations. Uh, let's go for more movement speed. Let's go for more attack speed here. And out of this one, let's go for another tri-tip, actually, considering we got movement speed out the other one. Tri-tips are really, really nice, and they do stack quite quickly for us now. Um, more actives. Don't really want actives at the minute, do we? Okay, we do have another chest down here as well. Good thing about this movement speed, like I said as well, is we can run around and get our... Uh, Get our items so quickly here. Now, this is another active thing here, but I really don't need that. Or even with Jeff of the Drowned, I'd rather stick with what we have right now, even if it is slower than something else. I think the only thing I'd probably swap it for is maybe a Royal Capacitor if I found one. But I'm not going to yet. Got ourselves Squid Polyps. Really not very good at all. For those of you that don't know Squid Polyps, it's going to create a little turret for us uh, next to things that we open. Most of the time, it isn't very useful. Damn, that was a really bad, a really bad throw that there, but it's okay. We're one-shotting these guys. The the focus crystal or whatever its name is is definitely helping us there. The one that does more deals more damage when we're up close and personal. A little bit more, few more kills, and we'll be in a position to quite easily hello, um, to quite easily get this chest opened here. Sure, that should do it. No legendary, but we did get a barbed wire. A razor wire, which is very, very, very good. It's going to help us out a lot. When we get hit, we deal damage. The more we get, the more damage you deal and the bigger radius. It kind of pops off as soon as you get like four or five of them, so I'm happy to have that. Right. Any chests over here? Not by the looks of it. This big thing's just gone. Sometimes there's a tower up here, sometimes not. Yeah, then we've got two chests over here. So ourselves another hour plating. Definitely better to have more stacks of it, so I'm happy about that. And we got a Hoopu Feather. Lovely. That's going to save us some from, from um, I was going to say save us from fall damage, but we don't actually need to save ourselves from fall damage ever. So, not as useful. Uh, that is terrible. Good, good, good to know. Anything else down here? Check real quick. No, it looks like we're going to be going on for our boss now. We've actually managed to clear this floor out pretty damn quickly. Pretty damn quickly. Uh, so, let's jump up here. Hey. Oh, okay, okay, here's something we're going to do. Um, grab the Royal Passer. Go down over here. Grab this equipment drone. Now that equipment drone is equipped for the Royal Passer. And we get to keep our active. That's going to be a nice bit of extra damage there. Now, equipment drones sometimes don't last very long. But it's it's effectively free. All we had to pay for it was the stuff we had to put in the equipment drone. And we can actually get another one there. There's more equipment about. Which I know there is somewhere, but I'm not going to go to the ends of the air to try and find it. We just need to find our actual boss now. Which I seems to be eluding me. Is it below here? Nope, it is not. It must be. It must be at the end of um, the platform over this way. Let's make our way over there. It's not. Okay, I'm a bit confused now then. Where the hell is it? 
I know sometimes it can be a tricky one to find, but I'm surprised. Color me surprised. Where you at? We do have this over here we can use as well. No, thank you, sir. Please be deleted from this realm. Hey, another focus crystal. And, yeah, goddamn, where is our boss? How have I completely lost where it is? I can't see the particle effects or anything. I've like, completely lost for where it is. Oh, there they are, there they are. We walked right, walk right past it, my god. We are. I just love the loader. He's so funny. It's just over here, look. Oh, we do have a we do have a armor piercing rounds. Where? Where is it exactly? Oh, there it is. Okay. We must have walked right past it. Right. We don't have a thing ready, and I'm probably gonna wait until we do because these guys can do a lot of damage. So let's just let's just chill out over here for now. Got Twenty seconds to just. Chill out with our dill out. 12 seconds. Try and gather them all up as closely as we can. Although we have kind of spread them out a little bit too much, to be honest. This might be ineffective. I was going to say, you better not get in the way. It'll do. There you go. We got a very, very big chunk of them there. Very happy about that. We've got quite a lot of them over this way. They seem to be having quite a lot of trouble getting to us. We've got another one there. Where are they? Where are they? They're all the way back here. What are you doing, lads? How did you make your way around this way so fast? And now you're stuck. So we got... Got to be very careful here. The bleed damage was stack. Pretty high on us. And that's all of them done. Nice one. Of course, we ended up leading ourselves away from the teleporter event. So, we're going to have to go into the teleporter and charge it up still. We got ourselves Very nice. Old guillotine. We're going to be dealing more damage to elite. Which, I don't know if the bosses count as elites. The, the bosses that we just fought. Because they're technically elite variants. But I don't know if they count as bosses for armor piercing rounds. Or if they count as elites for old guillotine. Or if they count as both. I'm not sure. I think they still count as elites. So I think this will work. Gotta love this crazy damage. It's pretty damn insane. We, I think we need a little bit, a little bit more um, healing. And after that, we're probably in a good spot. If we could get ourselves like two or three more turbaz brooches, that'd be enough, like, defense, I think. I want to yeet myself away. Woo! I just love having high movement speed and all that sort of stuff with this guy. It's just so fun. I just thought I'd fire that into the sky in case there was any birds about. Now, this is a really, really terrible, terrible set of enemies for us to get here. Because, as you might imagine, um... Ooh. Ooh. I... I have a bad but good idea. Right, well, first off, first off, we have to kill all of these guys. So I have a bad but good idea. We should trade all of our greens away for oh my god, for an absolute hecking ton of fuel cells to reduce our cooldown time and just get tons of this uh, this magic dam damage ball going around. But these are going to deal a lot of damage to us if they hit us. And they can hit us fairly easily. It's worth getting up in their face to deal damage to them. So, there's that. It took Will of the Wisp. We're already in this now, then. Yeah, I just thought that was doing a lot of damage. And it already took Guillotine. Took the ones that we really didn't want it to take there, but... We in it now. Ow. Really gotta be careful about these hitting me. Took a lot of damage. Took out Herbie Feather. Corona bubble's gone. Okay, we got all of them now. 
This might not do that much. It might have been a, a very, very bad idea. But we'll see. I should lower our cooldown by a decent amount. We've got 10 of them. More movement speed is good. So we'll see. So four, two, one. So it fires 14 seconds. Okay, that did a huge amount. That did a huge amount. Wow, in fact, in fact, let's go for like two more while, while, while we're here. This could be insane. Right, gotta be careful when we come across the boss version of this because it's gonna be dangerous as all hell. So, oh my god, it's like seven seconds. Oh, there's another. There's another. I definitely don't want that. More reduction. It seems that the uh, fuel cell is just like a flat reduction, not a percentage. It doesn't really have diminishing returns. Which is pretty nutty. If you ask me, that's pretty nutty. Good, you're down. I'm just gonna be firing these off like crazy. We just need to find some chests now. Where the hell are all the chests at? I think that's our lockbox over there. That right there. Or is that oh, that's a turret? Damn it! I thought you were my lockbox. You've upset me. Now that that is a turpaz brooch. Come on, it's taking a try to. Here. It's taking a crowbar. It's taking a crowbar. I'll do one more. And it's taking a goat hook. Okay, that's really good for us. Really good for us. That's going to be a lot of defense. Right, let's make our way up here. Get this going. Find myself yet. There's some more eggs. Tada! What a cool trick. Yeah, we should be very close to spawning this now. Another one there. Ow! And that sh this last should be the last one, I think. Oh no, we need we one more. Oh no, there you go. We spawned it. Cool. How are you doing, fool? How are you doing? So I've got five seconds. Explosive boy. So you're gonna be destroying this guy. And we don't even really have to hit anything. I don't, I don't know why there's two of them, bro. There shouldn't be two of them this early on. We've still got to be careful. It seems that we're charging our, um... Our... Yeah, our shield up. Oh my god, get out of the way of that. Yeah, we're charging our shield up off of hitting the enemies with our active ability, which is insane. To be honest. Relatively insane. Three seconds... Two seconds. You can't hit me with that, boy. There's another one for you. It just kills everything in the radius as well. And another one for you. Have that one too. Cool. And then, how about you have one too? Oh my god, they keep shooting up. Very, very annoying. <laughs> I love that. It's so good. Wow, they shielding up quick today. I don't even know why I'm getting that close to him. There's no need. So much damage. It's crazy. 
I thought we only had one left, but the burst was incredibly low. Let's keep going. We'll get through this. One of them's still alive? What? I hit him directly. Okay, he's pretty much dead, though. He's dead. And he's dead. What's our legendary? <laughs> Happy as mask, fuck's sake. Happy as mask is like one of the worst legendaries. Right. Where the hell's our boss at? It's over this way. Right. Away we go. It's right here. It's right here. Wow, I threw myself far then. Not expecting that so much. Right, so this is going to be pretty difficult. I think if we get far enough away... Oh, good golly gosh, we could die here very quickly. One of these hits us and we're done. Like, seriously. One of these hits us and we're pretty much done, though. Fire damage that these guys deal is insane. Luckily, our, uh, our ability is going to take them out relatively quickly. So it basically just hits all of them at once. We are going to get some of our own brush contractions coming into the mix as well. It's rather nice. Ow, one of them did hit me, but luckily I had quite a lot of shield up at the time. Ow, that one somehow hit the floor. Excuse me. And there you go. We got it. Look how many brass contractions we have in the air now. And a wax quill for a bit of extra movement speed to get away from things. I'll keep that. You know what? I'll do the game a service. I won't grab myself another 3D printed thing on my bobber. They do so much damage. Wow. Happiest Master is actually doing something. Boom. Did you all think I'd have this crazy power so quick? Monsoon ain't got nothing on me. It ain't got nothing. Just for the drowned. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. Nothing can stand to my might. We are in two and coming through difficulty now though, so that could that could throw a, a spanner in the works. We've got ourselves a legendary. Didn't really get many chests this far, not gonna lie, but I'm kind of fine with that. Those teddy bears there as well, we could have taken some of them. That would have been a good idea. Right. Oh boy, we need to we need to find the teleporter and basically use it immediately. Because this is possibly the worst enemy that we could have possibly formed. Like. Oh, it had to be the fire. It had to be the fire. We basically have to stay the hell away from these guys. As far away as we can. Oh my god. Wax quail, save me. One of those fireball touches us, and we are going to be in a world of hurt. Oh, hello. <laughs> nice to see you here. We just need to be basically on the move constantly here. Ready to take out all these bosses. Oh, no. I did not mean to hit you, sir. I am so very sorry. Do not punish me. Ah, oh my God. Oh, my God. Look at my HP. Oh, they're so strong. They're so strong. It caught on the wrong side of them and you are doomed. Okay, the boss technically is dead now, but we've still got to deal with all of these jabronis. Not sound easy. And of course we get a turn, which is basically worthless. We need something that heals us for every hit. That would be insane. The leeching seed is our only hope. Oh my god. Oh, every time. It's going to be so difficult to finish this teleporter event. This thing deals so much damage. And they just keep spawning. What, what percent are we even on? Only on 22%. Oh my god. Yeah. At least we're getting a decent amount of coverage. When we actually get into the, uh, into the zone with this ball. 
killing a lot of them. We just don't really have healing, is like at all. We need like a leeching seed or something. Like pretty desperately. I picked that up, thank you. I mean this does a ton of damage. But thank god we have this craziness going on right now, otherwise we would not be in a good place. Thank god I dodged that. Oh, there's another one. Right, can you all get away from my uh, from my teleporter event, please? Seems like they've actually kind of listened. Most of them aren't here for now. Oh, the two more have spawned. Oh my god. Just leave me be. Just leave me be, game. Right. Oh, I'm going to have to waste the ball here. Oh my god. They're just so stacked up in one corner. It's so annoying. Oh god. No, 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 no. I got caught on one of them. That's the worst thing that can happen. So they have this fire breath move. If they do the fire breath move, we could genuinely die very fast. Oh, yep. Yeah, one did it. One did it. You see my health just absolutely dipped there. That was him doing that move. Oh my god damn. We're so close to completing the teleporter event as well. That's an annoying thing. Okay, most of them are gone. 90%. 192, Okay, then we can start going. Yeah, okay, now we need to go and get some items. While we still can. We gotta be quick as well. Right, item. Just one leeching seed could save my life. Just donate one simple leeching seed to this this young, young boy. Please. He is so early in his life. He has so much to live for. Please give me one leeching seed. I don't even know if the leeching seed works with this gross on thing, but I'm just hoping that it does. I got another chest here. Give me that. Another fuel cell. Just to top it all off. I could have done a, a, a mountain shrine. That would have been real fun. Why would you even give me the option, game? Why would you even give me the option? Right, give me that. Ooh, okay. Let's go for the guillotine. We lost one already and I want it back. Super useful. Healing chest. Please, do me a solid. That is not even close to a solid. That's pretty much a liquid. Okay, let's make our way over this way a bit. Ow, I missed. Ooh, what have you got? What have you got? What have you got? Will the Wisp is back. Good, good, good. Right. Last few chests to get over here. We're starting to get our big boys coming back to us now. Is that another healing chest I see? Could it be? Oh, no. Ah! Don't do that to me, game. Bustling fungus, what is this? <laughs> Racism is what it is. Racism to load of bots. Oh, another Turpaz brooch is beautiful. Really, one more if it fails again. I will not. Okay. Another bustling fungus? What is this? No, thank you. That's just an evil game. Oh, no, I don't want that. Thank God I didn't pick it up. Sure, I didn't want that. Right, it's time. It's go time. Time to heck off. Let's just spend on this a little bit first. Okay, we got ourselves confusion, which could be nice. And we got ourselves another tri-tip dagger, which we gave away before. So I'm happy to have that back. Uh. Wow, that was a hectic claw. Please don't give his enemies that bad again, please. 
That would be very, very mean. And we got ourselves... Is that a jellyfish? Are these all going to be jellyfish? Oh, God, they are. Bye! <laughs> I love it so much. Later, dude. Hey, yo, goodbye. Oh, he's ours now. Oh, he's ours now. Celestial boy is ours now. Look at how far he went. Yeet. <laughs> oh, you gone. Oh, you gone, sucker. Hey, it's finally this. He gives us a sticky bomb. Not terrible. More Malachite guys over there. We need to go and take those out. Malachite ones are very, very horrible. That's one of the spiky ones, too. Even more horrible. Right, this says we have to be very, very careful around that guy. Luckily, if we strike him into a wall like that, he pretty much melts. Also, looks like it's a jellyfish. Sometimes people just detonate on us. Don't know where he went. Don't care. <laughs> Don't know. Don't care. He's all the way up there. They're making their way back down slowly. In fact, this is very scary, because now they're really high above us, just dropping bombs on us. Absolutely nuking us. Which is possibly worse than it was before. Random item. Cautious slug. God damn it, game. Look at this garbage. Okay, they're both gone now. More damage to bosses sounds appealing. Did I actually pick it up? No, I did not. Alright, fire that over into that crowd over there. How y'all doing? Gonna have to take this. It's not great healing, but it is healing nonetheless. I don't know when all our drones appeared, by the way, but they're dead now. Gasoline! We've got three effects now. Oh no, we lost our Corona Bottle, didn't we? We've got two effects now. Okay, there's another one of these guys. So for a random. Yes, that's nice. Well, we're just getting so much money without even doing anything. It's crazy. <gasps> Legendary. That fire haunting skulls when healed. Not great. Away with you. More chests, please, game. If anyone could partake in a few more chests for this boy, please. Where you at? There's a 3D printer there for the frosted key. Wow. Okay. Looks like we're just going to be ducking out of this one. Pretty much. It's going to be Malachite, so we have to get the hell away as far as we can. As I said, it's going to be Malachite, so... This is going to be pretty difficult, if not maybe impossible, because they they really do set up a lot of shit on the ground for you to step in. And if you step in it, you do take quite a lot of damage, although they are dying relatively quickly. Our armor piercings are helping, definitely. But yeah, they, they, uh, they stop you from healing and stuff. It's bad. Looks like we've actually got Mercer in here. Yeah, we got them all. We just need to be careful about all the stuff we've left on the ground, though. That did not go as badly as I thought. And we just got another Wax Quail for even more movement. That's really good. Okay, these enemies are not too bad. We can kill them before they explode for the most part. There's so many of them, though. So many of them. Nice. The amount of money we get. It's just crazy. We just fire it in, like, literally any direction. It kills so many things. We don't have to punch anymore. This is barely even a loader run. I love it. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Die, beans. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Happiest Mask is going to be quite nice on levels that have really brutal enemies. But enemies like this, it's just, it's just not good. We're going to get, like, a really horrible enemy on our next stage, I bet. Like, the machine gunner dudes. Something like that. That's like the worst one you can get. Right, 
nice one. Wasn't even that much chest to get that, that one. Nice. And let's see what we end up getting this floor. Could be lovely. Could be the most dangerous thing we've ever seen in our life. It is wisps. That's actually pretty dangerous for us. Goodbye. Oh yes. Oh yes, we are dead. We are pretty much dead. Because, as you saw, that Malachite one just almost one-shot at me. So that's fun. We basically have to kind of stay up here and let the Malachite ones die down there. Because if we don't, we will die. And you've got to be, like, you've got to realise that all the boss ones are now going to be Malachite. So that's fun. Did he just renew himself and become a, a whole new man? What are these little spikes you're firing at me, dude? Stop. I don't even think I've seen Malachite Wisps before. That's scary. Die, dude. How are you? How is this not hitting you? Okay, I think he died. Another one over here. I can't believe that Malachite one almost one shot me for a way. Oh, and that's a few more of them. Oh boy, oh boy. They do so much to me. It's so scary. And there's different types of Malachite ones as well. Some of them are worse than others. Nice. Jump myself between chests. Bit of attack speed. Not really necessary for us, but I'll take it. Give me some more healing. That's that's technically healing. It's not great healing, but it's technically healing nonetheless. Therefore, I am legally not allowed to complain. Yeah. Where are my chests? God damn it, game. More crits and more healing. Although it's bad healing, but it's still healing. Again, legally not allowed to complain. Right. Another chest. More Malachites though. So that's scary. Okay, let's chill up here for a minute. Ah, ah I did not mean to jump off here. Whoopsie. My white quail kind of launched me there. Wasn't really expecting that, but... Hey, her. It's a bit of a scary old time right now. Hey, it's our lockbox. Gimme, gimme. Fuel cell. <laughs> Just what I've been needing. Okay. Celestial again. We basically just have to stay back and let our... Let our big balls of fury deal with these guys. I think the Celestial ones are better than the Malachite ones for us. From what I remember. Oh, well, let's let's try and yeet this guy into the stratosphere. Got him. Okay, okay, that was nowhere near as bad. We got another guns turn. Oh, this is scary. Um, what you got for us? Move speed. I'll take move speed. What was enemies firing at me? Where? I can't feel it. It's like a, a faint tickle. Just chilling around at the speed of sound. Do 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 do. I'm not even gonna put my hand on the mouse. Let's just actually we kind of need to turn around. <laughs> but we could basically just play without ever clicking. It's kind of what we've been doing really. I did, I did mess that up a little bit there. Boom! Really? I hit rock again and messed it up twice in a row. There we go. Full shields ahoy! Oh, a Luna coin. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. There we go. There's a few of them. 
What are you doing over here, little, little buddy? He's an overloading lesser wisp. He's, he's, he's chilling. I wish the happiest mass things would just stay alive until they die. I mean, that meant me from really overpowered, but I kind of want to overpower out of my legendary items. Don't know about you guys, but it's kind of what I'm looking for. Right, what enemy do we get this time around? Is it going to be something really horrid? But this is our last floor anyway, so we should be able to get through this if it's not too terrible of an enemy. Of course, there's going to be Malachite ones, which make it even harder. Ooh, these are pretty bad. These are not great. These are not great. Ah! Ah! <laughs> scared me so much. It's like bullies surrounding you on the playground. Oh my god. Yeah, these guys can fly, for one. But also, they, they're going to come out as kind of hot and heavy. Luckily, if they do get hit by my balls of fury, they do die relatively quickly. I don't know if I can yeet them. Oh, I can. I can yeet them. I can eat them pretty hard. Yeet! Hello with your fiend. I fucking flung him into the air, then fired a ball at him. That's so good. Right. At least they're elites and do take extra damage to our guillotine action. I'm glad about that. Uh, these guys need to, like, go before anything else. Because if they do hit us, they will hurt a lot. Speaking of hurting a lot, we are dead. I tried to punch them rather than cheesing. It was a mistake. <laughs> that is monsoon for you, though. Even the most powerful builds. We would have beaten that stage had I not done that, I think. We had a pretty good line up there and we would have been okay for the boss. But we unfortunately died. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. That was pretty damn fun. Uh, I do love myself, Jester of the Drowned. It is one beautiful, beautiful bastard. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.